Look here. Hate these your peoples. Look, look here. Look here. Look here. It's it's like it's like it's like things have come full circle. And and it's a crazy feeling, right? When 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 you have been watching motherfuckers who you know were destined for greatness for a long time, right? Have have been through hell and high water, have dealt with so much bullshit and and have kept grinding and pushing and 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 just 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 making shit happen and then you're at the point where what you knew they would eventually do you know it's a reality now obviously i'm talking about rocka rocka and it's crazy man to go from watching like like sitting on the couch and 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 watching the band red bull commercial That that broke motherfuckers for yeah. f- yep. from then on till now, baby. Son, like to to getting the privilege to going to L.A. to actually meet Danny and 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 and, and chill with this motherfucker and and be in videos with him, which which was surreal then and even now, and. <laughs> It was one of those things where, you know, some, sometimes you're, you're, you're a little scared to meet people you look up to. This wasn't one of those, 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 those cases because I met the dude and he was like one of the coolest, hardworking people I've ever met in my life. So I'm like, that further cemented me knowing that, yeah, this, this, him and his brother, it's going to happen. Like, it's only a matter of time. Like, he's too hardworking. He's, he's, too, he's too much of a dope dude to not succeed. Like, he's one of them people. And when you meet him, you, you, you see it immediately. Like high energy, but hard working. Doesn't sacrifice one. Like it, it's just the work. The work ethic is was just crazy. That's crazy. You said that because you met him in person, mm-hmm. and you already wanted the best from them for them because you saw how good yeah. of a person he was. Yeah, because that's that's how it is. I've never met him, but I've always wished him well. Yeah, because when we first started watching more YouTube videos. <laughs> Dog, yo. Not the fucking dog. Their videos just made me so happy. Yeah. Made me, you know, like squeamish, but they are very entertaining. And like you said, you, you wish the best for them. And it's it's great to see everything come together for them. That that's how it is, man. And and from getting screwed by YouTube over and over, all kinds of stuff. It's like the success story is what makes this so impactful, right? It, it, it's just it's something that you look at it's like damn if you look at the whole journey and you see now a movie by that with with, with a twenty four attached to it oh man. I'm like damn man damn we here and and you know this ain't the end because like this this is like one goal and and yeah, this this going this is gonna be other milestones after this so I'm I'm really hyped <laughs> to see this right. I'm really excited. I haven't seen anything about this. And this is going to be the first trail I watch for Talk to Me. A movie done by Danny and Michael, a.k.a. Rocka Rocka, and I'm fucking hype. I am fucking hype. So without any further ado, let's watch this motherfucker. <laughs> Have you seen the group chat? They're doing it again tonight. No. Please. It's my mom's Remembrance Day. I just want to forget about it. Huh? Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I'll do it. <laughs> Cannot go for more than 90 seconds. Am I clear? What happens after 90 seconds? <laughs> Don't want to stay. Hey! I know that. Light the candle to open the door. <laughs> Blow it out to close it. <sighs> Put your hand on it. <laughs> now say, <sighs> talk to me. The dog, no. Talk to me. What the 
hand feel like? It felt amazing. I could see and feel everything on the other side. So my mom, she was trying to reach out. Mom. I'm here. Still been saying stuff. You mean saying stuff? What if we opened the door, but we didn't shut it? Oh my god, they followed us! I like you. They're not gonna stop. No, they're never gonna stop! They like you. July 28th. <clears throat> Listen, this is one of them joints where you're just going to feel uncomfortable the whole fucking movie. And I like the fact that it's not one of those trailers that shows you Everything. every fucking thing and every kill. Like, it gives you just what you need just to let you know that, yeah, we're going to fuck with your head in this one. It's just going to be real fucked up. I hope you're ready. And I just got to say, to see these accolades from, from, from these reputable places talking about how great this movie is, and how crazy it is, that, that also makes me feel happy. Because I have personal investment in this motherfucker. So to see that, I'm like, cool. Fuck with my head. And I know they can because they, they is, yeah. the way they head work, it's, it's crazy, yo. <laughs> it's crazy. Let, let me tell you. Do you know what pulled me in? And it scared the shit out of me just now. The fact that she said, what if we opened that door and didn't close it? That would fuck me up. If we played that game and you tell me a day after we opened that door, then I don't think we... Uh, boy, First of all, we boy, would never play that fucking game. As, as soon as they bring the hand out, I'm like, all right, dog, I'm it's time for me to go, yo. I I'm out. I'm not playing no games and I'm not initiating the shit anyway. I'm out, yo. Whatever window you guys going to get broken. Because if you lock the door, I'm out that bitch. Some kind of way. Either there's going to be some wildly coyote hole in the wall or something. I'm out. I'm not playing. I'm not grabbing no hand. I'm not saying nothing. And, and what, what movies like this, they fuck with you after you see the movie. Because you're going to go home and anything you see, like if you see anybody's hand like yeah. this, like someone trying to give you death, like yeah. what's up, yo? Like, hey, man. Like, that, it's going to fuck with you after the fucking movie. And that is part of the reason why I'm looking forward to this. Because if a movie has the power to fuck with you after you see it, yes. then that means that it has that fucking lasting effect. Um, um, I had, when I, the first Conjuring movie mm -hmm. bothered me when I got mm -hmm. home. Um, help me out. The Grudge, mm -hmm. with the first Grudge with Sarah Michelle Gellar, it bothered me when I went home. The, the, the ring bothered me with that fucking ring face now, in the closet. The ring didn't bother me, though. Really? The grudge did. I didn't take the ring home with me. The, this, that face in the closet, when, when you open the closet, her face is all twisted. Yeah, that shit fucked with me. I still remember that face to this day. Mm. Still. Yeah, it... <sighs> and this, this is crazy because you know some people will, will hop up in, in the living room and play some fucked up ass games like this. You know they would do that. And if, if I ever have, have any friends, I'm looking at you, oddest of the odd. If you ever bring a hand out, we're like, yo, let's play this game. Yo, I'm out. I will get a jetpack out of nowhere. <laughs> and I'm through the roof. Where you going? Yo, I will turn Iron Man in a second. <laughs> in a second. <laughs> they fucking around throw their hand up at you. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Just, just grab you by the neck. Yo. And then you've seen a whole demon squad just, just looking at you. They all got jetpacks, too. <laughs> The whole demon block party. Like, I, fuck that. For them to make a film when the trailer is disturbing, that's a good, that is yeah. a good, that's a good moment. Yeah. Because if your trailer can bother me, now I'm bothered. Yeah. They, there, there was just something about, you know, her grabbing the hand. Yeah. And then saying, I saw my mom. Like that, that bothered me because that, I knew she went to hell. If you look closely in that trailer, it showed a bunch of, it's one of them joints where you watch the trailer and you feel you feel uncomfortable. Like you feel uncomfortable because you know 
You know stuff is going on and you've seen how she's got affected. But at the same time, they're showing you a little. They're showing you so little. They're playing it close to the chest. We're like, yeah, we're going to show you just what you need to know. We're going to give you just enough information. Come see this motherfucker. And then you go see it and you're going to get fucked up. You're going to get fucked up, yo. Don't see this in 40X. Because they're going to have bitches walking around just grab you by the neck with yep. that same fucking hand with, with the fucking graffiti on it and shit. Nah, bitch. Nah, fuck that. <sighs> This is not a 40X movie. This is a regular IMAX movie. See it regularly and then go home and turn on the lights on. <laughs> that, that's what this is. <laughs> turn all the lights. This movie is going to raise elect, electric bills. <clears throat> so I hope y'all ready for that. The backlash is going to be crazy. Like, yo, my, my bill's sky high now because yep. of this movie. So, I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah. they, 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 they knew what it was. They knew. The electric company is going to be saying, talk to me. Oh, no, no, no. Don't, 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 don't they, they know exactly what they're doing with this joint. They know exactly what they're doing. You you feel uncomfortable, and that's what you want in a horror film. Amen. So, because a lot of like a lot of horror movies these days been missing the mark, because you know it's, it's kind of formulaic and all that, whatever like that. But the way these dudes think is different. Like the way they think and the way they execute is different. That's why I know from this trailer, like I'm gonna get exactly what I want. And I'm not, I'm not just saying that because I like rock and rock. I'm saying it because these dudes are talented as fucking what they do. You know what they're capable of. I respect that. This shit gonna fuck heads up, yo. And I'm ready for it and not ready for it. So obviously this is a day one. Being able to see a rock and rock movie in a theater already is yeah. just like, oh shit, that's crazy to me. I'm excited. This shit. is a day one. A day motherfucking one. I never thought I would say that. Like I never thought I have to the I would say that this soon, but but being able to do that, yeah, yeah. Day one we there to get fucked up. And I'm sending my my, my electric bills to you. <laughs> you take this. And cut. <laughs> Dave, you take this. <laughs> you did this. You're paying for this. <laughs> you did this to me. Oh my goodness. It's like the nails, the face. Yeah. And you don't see the face either. Yeah. I like it like that. It's yep. like, you don't know how horrifying this is going to be. It's Other trailer, they will show you the demon. They will show you the end of the movie yeah. when the demon get killed and all that. It's like, nah, this one is showing you. you nothing. You see, you see Just a nails. little bit. Exactly you what you need. You see behind her. You mm-hmm. see the head coming forward and then they stop it. I'm like, whew. This movie's going to fuck your life up. <sighs> I think I'm going to stay home. Guys nope. You guys got this. Uh-uh. You going right to the theater <laughs> in the front row <laughs> with 3D glasses on. <laughs> the big ones, too. Yeah. <laughs> the Ray Charles joint. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Tape your eyelids open. 